This is 6,000 modern soldiers, and they're facing up against 1 million of the brand new robot army right here. These are German Wehrmacht army soldiers of the Force Reich, and they're going to be coming forward against the modern soldiers. But then, of course, we're going to double this, triple this, quadruple this into having a massive robot army of millions of robots against every nation on Earth. But let's just start with a little bit of a test to see how well these German soldiers end up doing here. Uh, so the modern soldiers spamming fire out there. They're already up to 40 kills, so they're doing pretty well. Uh, but it's pretty clear that these German robots are actually pretty powerful because they can take a lot of bullets. So we're definitely going to need to give the modern soldiers some tanks, some BTRs, some missile systems, and stuff like that. Because right now, they're probably screwed. <laughs> they're most definitely going to be going down. They're up to almost 500 kills, which is not too bad, but the robots slowly approach here and will eventually knock them out, I have a feeling. Either way, if you guys do enjoy this video, please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment down below if you'd like to see some more of this in the future. Either way, here come the robots, the Rubits, and they're coming in and they're starting to take swings at the modern soldiers. Uh, they are killing some of them here bit by bit. Modern soldiers up to 1,600 kills, which again is, I mean, a solid amount. They were never going to win this. It's a million robots. That's way too many robots. This is just, you know, the preliminary scouting party of the modern soldiers here. And, <laughs> you know, later on, uh, we'll get the real army out here. But these guys are most certainly going to be going down here. 3,000 dead robots, uh, 600 dead modern soldiers. Let's just go ahead and time lapse their collapse. And there we have it. 6,000 modern soldiers end up killing uh, 7,236 robots. Let's go ahead and bring in every Earth Army now. What's up gamers? I'm here to tell you about Instant Gaming. Instant Gaming is an amazing place where you can get some fire deals on all sorts of video games. Uh, seriously, it's like 60 to 95% off as you can see here. Uh, these are all of the Star Wars titles they have. They literally have every Star Wars title. Uh, you can also get XCOM here, Men of War Assault Squad 2, all of the games I play on the channel you can buy here for extremely cheap prices. If you use my affiliate link in the description, it helps me out a ton. So thank you guys for listening to this sponsorship and thank you to Instant Gaming for continuing to sponsor the channel. All right, boys. Well, now the robot army has returned and so has every Earth army. So we've got more modern U.S. soldiers down here. Uh, we've got ourselves some Vietnamese soldiers over here, uh, some Korean Gatling guns, uh, some Chinese soldiers and more Korean soldiers up here, uh, some insurgent soldiers, some Russian TOS ones. Uh, we've also got ourselves some of the United Nations soldiers up here with machine guns. We've got nuclear missile systems. Uh, and then we've also got uh, M1 Abrams over this way and Seawizzes over here with the rest of the modern U.S. Army soldiers. So quite a number, actually 212,000 modern soldiers uh, versus 4.8 million of the robots. So we've got the robots we utilized last time, but on top of that, we've got some new ones. Uh, we've also got these evil robot clowns, which are terrifying. <laughs> yeah. Uh, then over this way, we've got ourselves some of the, uh, nope, those are more of the German soldiers. Uh, no, we've got Robocops over here. These are melee Robocops, so that's kind of cool. And then back over here, we have War of the World tripods. We've got about 5,000 of them, as you can see, as well as uh, about 10,000 of these, like, tiny little robots who are apparently extremely powerful so quite the battlefield here that we're going to go up against five million robots two hundred twelve thousand of every earth army let's get it the robot invasion of earth is going on uh you can see there that we've got the machine guns of the sea whizzes firing away and hopefully getting a lot of kills a lot of these robot units are pretty powerful so they're going to be tough to kill in general it is a Rather staggering army coming forward here, but pretty fun. We've done alien invasions, we've done demon invasions, we've done zombie invasions. 
finally we have enough robot units to do a robot invasion which is really pretty cool <laughs> i'm not gonna lie it's pretty sweet uh so we got a lot of these robots attacking some of the modern soldiers over here uh and they're already getting up there i mean we saw last time that these robots don't go down super easy and that the modern soldiers are going to have a lot of trouble combating them and that is exactly what's happening here but of course they've got heavier weaponry now so those sea whizzes are able to really shred a lot of these robots get a lot of kills on them so that's really helpful on top of that russian tos systems up here firing away you could see those shots going out let's see them land into the robot army nope they faded away okay that is something that happens when the TOS's are firing from too far away but these look a little bit closer so maybe they'll hit yes okay these did hit Robocops over this way and so they're also going to be delivering some powerful punches in there uh, those micro robots as well as the tripods are still a little too far away to get involved but the robot clowns over this way kind of a terrifying unit I was terrified as cl of clowns as a kid and now I am still I don't like clowns. I still am not a fan at all of clowns. <laughs> Let me know if that's an experience you guys have as well towards clowns, but for me it certainly is. Uh, but either way, these clowns are still coming in over here against some of the Vietnamese soldiers uh, who have a little bit more dated rifles for themselves, but eh, that's alright. They'll, they'll still be able to get some serious kills, although some of these killer clowns are getting on in here. Uh, we've also got these uh, South Korean... Uh, I don't even know what... They're just like heavy chain guns or something like that. And so they're rotating up and, and getting some kills on those killer clowns as well. Right now we're looking at about 2,800 dead modern soldiers and uh, 287,000 dead robot soldiers. So quite, quite the number there. You can see the modern U.S. Army is getting surrounded, but they're getting a lot of kills, I think. So that's really, really solid. Uh, those nuclear missile systems up here, I don't believe are firing yet. But we do have some Russian ghillie suit snipers up here that are capable of firing from really, really far away. So they might be doing some serious damage as well. I forgot to mention them at the beginning of this when we press start, but that's okay. Uh, oh, also BTRs over here. I forgot we have BTRs over here. These are the frag BTRs. Sometimes we use the flechetta ones, but these ones are the frag ones. So they explode uh, as opposed to being like a shotgun round kind of a deal. Uh, but they're getting pretty swamped by different Robocops over here uh, that are taking them on pretty pretty hardcore that's that's certainly rough so not not a great thing for the btrs but hopefully they get some kills before they go down i think the u.s army over here is going to go down first ah it might be the vietnamese army they're getting kind of sideswiped a little bit their their front lines are doing better than the u.s army but they're getting sideswept pretty good the u.s army though is kind of more or less surrounded which is definitely harder so these killer clowns are getting in here and getting some serious kills oh I think the nukes just fired. I think a nuke just went off because that is a large number of killer clowns getting displaced right there. So yeah, nukes going off pretty deadly. Killer clowns have 2,000 health apiece, which is kind of crazy. German robots have, uh, oh, are these them? No, these are killer clowns. Oh, whoops. These guys? Yeah, these guys have 2,200 health apiece. So a little bit more powerful than the killer clowns, but not by much. Tripods still way out this way along with those smaller robots. They're, uh, they're getting there. They're getting closer to the front lines, I guess. 600,000 dead robots at this point. 15,000 dead modern soldiers. So the modern soldiers are actually doing pretty well, although the hardest robot soldiers have still yet to make it to the front lines. Why don't we go ahead and do a quick little time lapse of the U.S. Army defense here and see what happens long term during this battle. All right, we are about to pass one million dead robots. So that's one fifth of the robot army being dead. And it took about 27,500 modern Earth Army soldiers in order to get to that point. So pretty interesting t statistics right there. Uh, they're both, I believe, at about, like, kind of one fifth of their total force dead. So it's, it's fairly even, actually, at this point in time. Um, I think with a slight edge going to the Earth Army currently. But more of those robots are flanking around the backs of these U.S. soldiers. And U.S. soldier line is getting thinned a little bit. I mean, it's hard to tell the difference here because there's so many. But 
It's getting thinned a little bit. And of course, this flank going on over here could be fairly devastating and wrap up this area pretty quickly uh, if they fully encompass. But luckily, the Abrams up here are actually attracting a lot of these uh, German robots. Uh, I thought they might be Robocops, but no. And then there's the Robocops over here. I guess the Ro Robocops are going for the flank around here uh, towards the insurgent side of things, which are up on top of this cliff side. But the BTRs are just lasting actually a pretty long time. Their armor must be pretty tight right here uh, because they're able to survive a lot of these hits from uh, Robocop and survive. I was wondering if anyone's flanking all the way around. Yes, okay. Actually, a number of the Robocops are flanking all the way around here and going up against some of the UN soldiers. So that's not a bad idea. By the way, per usual, most of you guys who watch these videos know this, uh, the UN soldiers are actually SWAT soldiers, but it's the same as the UN Blue, so we tend to call them UN soldiers because it's kind of fun to have, like, the UN Army in here. You can barely even see the SWAT unless you look directly at their back. So we call them UN soldiers, but that's interesting that there is a full-on flank going over here of Robocops uh, that could cause some losses. I'm not sure how much. Um, and was that a Robocop? Yeah, it was. So, eh, well, it'll be interesting to see what happens there. I kind of think probably not a ton is going to happen because there's not a crazy amount of Robocops, but there's enough to maybe get a few kills, I'm guessing. Uh, the Vietnamese soldiers over here still standing, although they are getting eaten away at pretty good, so that's deadly. And, uh, of course, again, the U.S. soldiers vibing out over here. Why don't we go ahead and run another time lapse, because uh, this thing could take a little while. Alright, well very quickly here, the modern soldiers started to take a little bit of a beating, and I think it might be from those small roly-poly um, little robots which came in. A lot of them are dead now, as we can see, but still more come in, and <laughs> for the tiniest little robot you ever did see, they are killing swaths of US Army soldiers. It's good to know they are killable, but, uh, yeah, they're coming through here, man. Look at that, little Blitzkrieg and little robots. Um, and then the Killer Clowns over here have dealt with a lot of the Vietnamese soldiers. So now more insurgents on the hillside are starting to get involved in this fight against the Killer Clowns, which is probably not a very good sign. And when Abrams over here still doing strong, you know, they don't have any worries at all, except for the fact that the modern soldiers over here are going to die, and then they're going to be in some trouble. And of course, the tripods uh, are going to be coming through too. A few of them have started to die just from constant fire being absorbed, but... They're getting pretty close to the front lines and they could get some kills pretty soon. But we are at 2 million dead robots, which is really, really good. 2 million. Not bad. Oh, look, some more UN soldiers up here and ghillie suit snipers having to deal with some robot clowns over this way too, so that's a little bit scary. Uh, 2 million, 100,000 dead robots and 75,000 dead modern soldiers so pretty crazy a few of these un soldiers did die over here to the robocops but not that many so they're still doing fine they're still doing okay whoo well this is an enticing battle the insurgents are still perfectly okay btrs down here are also still surviving so that's really really promising there's some really 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 good areas of this battlefield for the modern soldiers and then there's some areas that are in need of improvement like the modern soldiers over here who are completely dead Vietnamese soldiers on their way out due to these little tiny ribbits that are coming on through and getting swaths and swaths of kills all at once of course the nuclear missile systems up above can still potentially do some serious damage um, they're not really firing at at full speed full cylinder whatever um, and the TOS ones should also start to fire a little bit more as the enemies get closer and closer so that those are some good things those are some promising things but overall i mean definitely a lot of lost ground here to the robots <sighs> let's just see what happens all right well we've got 52,000 modern soldiers remaining and we have ourselves uh, about 1.38 million robots remaining so modern soldiers doing really really well <laughs> they've killed so many of the enemies uh wait is that right is it one point i think it's 1.86 million okay i was a little bit wrong but <laughs> you get the point 1.86 million robots remaining i was like wow they're almost done eh, not quite but they're, they're getting there they're getting there they're actually doing a great job we got tripods coming up the mountain here like 
crazy. So many of them are getting involved on the battlefield now. Um, but luckily, they can only really fit like a few at a time. So it's not like a huge horde coming forward all at once, uh, which is really, really good. We've got some of these South Korean soldiers up here fighting against uh, some more of these robots coming forward. Well, they're all robots, but you know what I mean. Um, and of course, the Abrams are very, very sturdy tanks. They're able to take a lot of fire and damage uh, before going down. There's another nuclear missile system launch. Beautiful! Oh my goodness, it's gorgeous. And on this side, pretty much the exact same thing happening the whole time. The Robocops have been massive failures during this entire thing. That's for sure. Um, so yeah, I mean, at this point, it seems like the robots might actually lose this thing um, at the end here. I mean, they're still getting kills, they're still making progress, but for the most part, modern soldiers are really, really killing it. So let's watch these Abrams holding out. All right, now we are down to one million remaining robots and 45,959 remaining Earth Army soldiers. Now, that number has not gone down much since the last time we checked in, so it seems to me the Earth Army is going to win this for sure. I mean, all of these robots over here are dead. These guys up here, no longer getting assaulted. Uh, they did get attacked a little bit in the back by some tripods, it looks like, but the UN managed to stop them eventually, and now no one's coming for the backs of them over here. And then over this way, we've still got insurgents fighting over here. Looks like the BTRs down below did finally die, but the ones up top are still alive, and the insurgents are still managing to kill lots of tripods and other robots coming in this way. Um, and then the Abrams over here are holding out with insurgent fire next to them. So they're still doing pretty great at the moment. Uh, and it really does seem like they're going to end up just getting the dub ski here. Very nice. I mean, still one million robots, so anything can happen. But it seems like we're at the position where the Earth Army is just outpacing them and is going to be able to get the win. So let's keep her going and see. The charge continues, but this time with a much smaller force, 300,000 remaining robots. I think humanity's gonna get away with this one. They've got 45,900 soldiers remaining. Yeah, it's looking like humanity W here at the end of the day, Sonny. Um, not even any War of the Worlds tripods left alive. I think these are all dead. They just look like they're standing up from a distance. Yes, sir, they all topple when we go near them. Yeah, rip uh very very large battlefield lots of death lots of craziness mayhem the whole shebang <sighs> let's just let's just finish it off i guess with a with an overhead And there we have it. The modern army takes the W at the end of the day with 45,911 soldiers remaining. There's apparently 92 robots somewhere. I don't know where. They're probably stuck. So that's fun. <laughs> but pretty crazy battle. Let me know in the comment section if you guys would like to see more Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2 battles with the robot army invading Earth in the future. Um, but until then, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.